In this video, we'll discuss fluctuating blood pressure. Typically, it will go up and down during the day, but sometimes the fluctuations may be much more than normal, and those causes require the attention of a doctor. If you want to see more blood pressure videos like this one, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. Let's get right to the content and start with the causes that are more typical, like the time of day. During the night, your pressure is typically lowest while sleeping. Your body and mind are more relaxed, with no outside distractions. While in a good sleep, your heart rate will lower also. Early in the morning, your pressure will start to rise as your biological cycle is heightened by things like daylight and stress hormones like like cortisol and adrenaline starts to rise preparing us for the stresses of the day. During the day, your pressure can fluctuate depending on your daily activities, like what you eat or drink. Coffee causes a short-term rise, and if you eat certain foods, like ones high in tyramine, it can cause spikes. Tyramine is found in processed meats, cured meats, aged cheese, and fermented or pickled food. Another cause in fluctuations is if you're unable to use the bathroom and you have to hold it in for long periods of time. And if you move into a cold environment, like in the winter, the cold may cause your blood vessels to constrict, which raises blood pressure and warmer temperatures like a warm bath can lower it. A stressful situation can raise your pressure, like running late for an appointment, having to see the boss at work, or visiting a doctor, also known as white coat syndrome. If you exercise, your heartbeat will increase and beat harder so it can supply more oxygen to your muscles. Now let's move on to the more serious causes of fluctuating pressure, like pregnancy. In the beginning stages, a woman's circulatory system expands quickly, which can cause low periods of pressure during the day. And pregnancy and complications like infections, internal bleeding, and endocrine issues can wreak havoc on fluctuations. Another cause is diabetes, when nerve damage on internal organs or swings in blood sugar levels can cause low blood pressure and then have it reverse back up to normal. If someone has a cardiovascular disease like heart valve problems or a low heart rate, it's very possible they'll see inconsistent readings. And if someone has high blood pressure, they may see a bigger spike during exercise than someone who doesn't. And if you're on medication for a cardiovascular problem, different medications, dosages, and the time you take it can change your pressure. Unhealthy kidneys can cause fluctuations because they play an important part in regulating it. Thyroid problems can cause a rise in pressure or a drop depending on which thyroid problem you have. Dehydration typically will lower pressure, but recent research has shown it can also raise it. Smoking can cause short-term spikes all day long, and medications for certain conditions can cause fluctuations like antidepressants, painkillers like like Advil or Motrin, cold medications containing stimulants, and erectile dysfunction medication. If you want to find out if that lowers or raises your pressure, you can click on my video about it right here. If you found any value in this video, click the thumbs up, and I wish you and your loved ones the very best.